Hello friends, I am Ravi Verma and in this video I am going to discuss about uh, the first chapter of NCRT textbook of science for class 10th and the title of the chapter is chemical reactions and equations. So before discussing this a very important uh, quote by Martin H. Fisher is written in the top uh, at the top uh, you can see what is written that uh, facts are not science as the dictionary is not literature this fact has a very deep meaning and uh, you need to understand uh, before starting learning science as this state uh, explains uh, that as a dictionary has a large number of words and meanings but collectively they do not make any sense in the same way if you learn science is a collection of dis uh, of uh, discrete facts if you are learning science just by memorizing facts road memorizing definitions and laws and words of concepts then this is not a learning of science for learning of science you need to understand the concept you need to do some practical activities and uh, you need to relate the concept with your real life situations relate the concepts with each other and learn the science as a whole so simply you do not just memorize the facts definitions and laws try to understand the concept okay let's come to the topic first question arises in our mind what is a chemical reaction and why are we learning about chemical reactions do they bear any importance do they bear any significance all right so in order to understand what are chemical reactions we need to go to certain examples of chemical reactions which actually take place in our surroundings and we look at them every day but we never think that they are chemical reactions okay so certain uh, certain examples of visible chemical reactions are given here think of them what happens when milk is left at room temperature during summers it get spoils it uh, spoils and uh, its odor its appearance its taste changes in the same way when iron nail is left exposed to humid atmosphere what happens that iron gets converted into rust so what is actually happening if we write if i write uh, iron iron symbol then it is fp during this change iron is converted into rust and rust is chemically fe2o3 that is iron oxide so during this change what happens iron which is a different substance converts into rust which is a different chemical substance so such a process in which one substance one chemical converts into another chemical this is called a chemical reaction in the same way if we take the example of grapes get fermented then you know that grapes contain sugar and during fermentation yeast performs a chemical reaction in which sugar gets converted into alcohol all right so sugar is a different substance alcohol is a different substance sugar is converting into alcohol this process in which one substance converts into another substance is called a chemical reaction in the same way if we take the example of food gets digested if you take potato that means it contains starch and after digestion the starch converts into glucose after digestion the starch converts into glucose so one substance is converting into another substance again this is an example of chemical reaction okay so <clears throat> if you look at a change in your environment how would you identify that a chemical reaction is taking place okay for example suppose you are looking at a chemical reaction in your laboratory how do you identify that a chemical reaction has taken place okay let's understand about this for understanding this we need to do some activities 
गिवेन इन आवर एन सी आर टी टेक्स्ट बुक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्टिविटी नंबर वन लुक एट द फिगर नंबर वन पॉइंट वन इन दिस एक्टिविटी वॉट वी विल डू वी विल टेक अ मैग्नीशियम रिवन हेयर इट इज वी विल रब इट विद अ सैंड पेपर क्लीन इट एंड ट्राई टू बर्न इट विद द बर्नर यू विल सी दैट आफ्टर अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स मैग्नीशियम रिवन विल स्टार्ट बर्निंग एंड विल स्टार्ट डिक्रीजिंग इन इट्स साइज and getting converted into magnesium oxide that is ash and the ash will be collected into the glass into the watch glass so here you see that magnesium ribbon burns with a white and dazzling flame and the ash is collected into the watch glass so how did you identify that a chemical reaction is taking place by shortening of the magnesium ribbon by appearance of light and temperature change in temperature ओके सो व्हाट हैपेंड एक्चुअली मैग्नीशियम व्हिच इज़ अ मेटल रिएक्ट्स विद ऑक्सीजन व्हिच इज़ अ सेपरेट व्हिच इज़ अ डिफरेंट सब्सटेंस मैग्नीशियम एंड ऑक्सीजन रिएक्ट विद ईच अदर एंड मेक मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड व्हिच इज़ अ डिफरेंट सब्सटेंस सो हेयर यू सी दैट मैग्नीशियम कन्वर्ट्स इन मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड ऑक्सीजन कन्वर्ट्स इन मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड सो दिस इज अगेन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन और come to another activity activity number 1.2 in this activity what we will do we will take aqueous solution of lead nitrate that is pb n o 3 whole twice lead nitrate aqueous solution means lead nitrate is dissolved in water so this solution is a very clear uh, a very clear type of solution in one test tube and in another test tube we will take potassium iodide solution aqua solution of potassium iodide as long as the two solutions are separate there is no chemical reaction but when the two solutions will mix will be mixed with each other you will see that a yellow colored substance yellow colored solid is being formed and getting settled at the bottom of the test tube this is called yellow precipitate of lead iodide that is pb i2 lead iodide so lead iodide has yellow color so appearance of yellow color in the test tube is is indicating that a chemical reaction is taking place along with lead iodide one more substance is getting formed that is kno3 potassium nitrate all right so what is the chemical reaction pbno3 plus ki arrow pbi2 that is lead iodide plus potassium nitrate kno3 so how did you identify that the chemical reaction is taking place when the the color changed when there was a appearance of yellow color okay now activity number 1.3 in this activity what we will do we will take a conical flask like this and in this conical flask we will add zinc granules and in those zinc granules we will add dilute sulfuric acid after addition we will add the cork we will fit the cork and we will fit a glass tube in it we have already fit actually okay so as soon as the dilute sulfuric acid will come in contact with the zinc granules a large number of gas bubbles will start forming uh will start evolving from the zinc granules these bubbles are of hydrogen gas and when you will touch the flask you will see that the temperature has increased so evolution of gas and increase in temperature is indicating that a chemical reaction is taking place and what chemical reaction is taking place zinc is reacting with h2 s o4 and getting converted into zinc sulfate zn so4 plus hydrogen gas is evolving so the students from these three activities we came to know one important thing that uh, during any chemical reaction certain changes are apparent these changes in matters are change in their state
चेंज इन देयर कलर एवोल्यूशन ऑफ गैस एंड चेंज इन टेम्परेचर इफ दीज चेंजेस आर विजिबल दैट मीन्स केमिकल रिएक्शन इज टेकिंग प्लेस और लाइट सो डी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी गॉट इंट्रोड्यूज टू वॉट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन वी नो नाउ नो एंड वी कैन डिफाइन दैट केमिकल रिएक्शन इज द प्रोसेस इन विच वन सब्सटेंस गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू केमिकली डिफरेंट सब्सटेंस और राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैग्नीशियम कन्वर्टेड इन टू मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड आयरन कन्वर्टेड इन टू आयरन ऑक्साइड दैट इज रस्ट पोटेशियम नाइट्रेट सॉरी लेड नाइट्रेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू लेड आयोडाइड एंड जिंक कन्वर्टेड इन टू जिंक सल्फेट थैंक यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रेजेंटेशन द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन that is chemical equations